www.kellogg's.ca Five minutes after 10 o'clock, thank you for tuning in this Wednesday morning. This morning, we had this discussion about what it would have been like if historical figures had smartphones and uh, Paul Revere would not have had to get on his horse. He could have just sent a text message to everybody at once, and, and they would have been done with it. Of course, they might have questioned him. They would have been all, instead of defending the country, they would have been you know, commenting. <laughs> uh, if you want a, a better, smarter smartphone, um, this is the show to listen to. Matt Wilkerson is here from Verizon Wireless, and uh, he'll be telling you about some of the new gadgets and some of the new things you can get, and some of the some of the incentives to perhaps switch over. Good morning, Matt. Yes, good morning to both of you. And one of the incentives is that you might come and cut our grass. Is that right? Did well, yeah, <laughs> I actually put that on Facebook. That was uh, I, I definitely got a lot of in- inquiries about that. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, they said, well, you need to put some blades underneath your car. Uh, you know, it's, it's about the size of a mower. So. <laughs> good thought. Good thought. You know, it would be cool though. That's a smartphone related is and they probably have this a, a remote control lawnmower that you control just sit in your chair and, and work the thing i'm telling you stay tuned uh <laughs> the things that they're going to be coming up with are unbelievable did you see the video online where the guy puts a big stake in the very center of his yard <laughs> no and he uh <laughs> ties a rope to his self-propelled push mower you know self-propelled mm-hmm. mower and he <laughs> he uh, clamps it to where it stays on and it mows in a circle and as that string goes around the actual pole, ah. it gets closer and closer and closer, ah. and it mows his yard for him. Ah. Oh, how clever is that? Pretty neat. Now, how in my mind, I pictured S-T-E-A-K. I pictured a piece of oh, meat. Oh, me too. Me too. I figured and, you. And I thought there was going to be a dog in your story. <laughs> no, no. That, yeah. was a pulling, metal. that was pulling the lawnmower. A metal steak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trying to get too. the steak. <laughs> Like the <laughs> carrot on the stick thing. Metal right. steak. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> I, I, I pictured that too, a food We must steak be hungry. We're animals. both picturing, yeah, yeah. I think so. Well, Patsy brought us sausage biscuits, so we're set. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. We are set. Uh, so, so, you know, every, every time we talk to you, uh, we bring in something from our own lives into this conversation because it happens all the time. You know, you're, you're out and about and, um, for, for, for example, I have a PayPal account. Yep. And and I can pay things. That, what was it? An ice cream place. Yeah. And it says pay with PayPal. Sure. And I said, well, how do Twisties. I pay? How do I pay with PayPal? Yeah. Oh, you got to do it through your smartphone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Matt, as you know, we, we haven't converted yet, but, <laughs> but we're working on you. But I keep thinking, wow. So I could have just kind of oh, just push this button, and and, and I could have paid it. And I'm guessing PayPal's not the only one. I could have used something else too. No, right? I was at McDonald's the other day. Um, and uh, at, at the purchase, I simply waved my phone over the machine through Apple Pay, um, and they uh, check it with your fingerprint, and it's done. It's literally two seconds, and you've paid for it. There's no pin required. There's no nothing. You just simply wave it over the machine. So we won't need a bank card then in the future. We'll just uh, use eventually the phone. you will not. No. Is it is it preferred by the banks? Uh, it, is it is it less? Penetrable? Well, actually, right now, it is not as available as, obviously, debit card. They know debit card, Visa, and MasterCard. They're accepted worldwide. But Apple Pay is not accepted everywhere. Uh, okay. It's growing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, it's not the majority right now. But it will be. It will be. Credit so, cards and stuff, they're, they're going to be going away. So we will need to come to you to get that kind of a phone that will actually have Apple Pay on there. Yeah, well, of course, obviously, the Apple products, the iPhone, is what is what offers that. Mm-hmm. Uh, PayPal, PayPal is accepted worldwide as well. Uh, I buy several things through PayPal. You know, but you can do, you know, say I wanted to send you money. I, I don't need to hand you a 20 or or $100 bill. I can simply go to my PayPal account, send it to your PayPal account, and you can mm-hmm. pick it up on the other end. Oh, my gosh. So it's just everything is, 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 real, is secure. I wow, mean, wow. You know. So it's not, it's not just about communicating anymore. I mean, it, it was texting and, and phone calls, and, and now it's everything. I mean, oh, it's, it's everything. I had, matter of fact, before I came here today, I had three documents that I needed to get emailed uh, to an individual uh, in my uh, company, and mm-hmm. I simply took a picture. I took a picture of the item, and the app on your phone, which is called Tiny Scan. 
Tiny, oh. tiny scan, one word. Uh, we'll actually convert that into a PDF, and you can email it wherever you want to email it. There's no there's no faxing needed. There's no none of that stuff needed. Mm-hmm. Everything from your phone. Wow. Uh, Matt, you had a, um, an incentive before we went on the air, $300 or something? Yeah, what Explain we have running it. right now with Verizon, um, if, uh, if you want to come over from another carrier, you're not happy with your reception, your coverage, whatever it may be with your, previous, with your current carrier, Verizon is offering $300 uh, for, uh, for uh, anybody that switches. Now, there are some limitations. You have, to, um, you have to trade in your old smartphone from your old carrier, which mm-hmm. I don't know why you would need it anyway once you switch but and it must be in good working order can't have a broken screen uh, and you must go on the edge program uh, which is now called the uh, installment plan uh, the edge program is actually going to be the name edge program is going away oh. uh, but it is it is basically a monthly installment plan uh, on the phone but if you go on the a monthly installment plan and you trade in your smartphone right. and you're coming from another carrier, they will give you a $300 bill incentive credit. Uh, typically, it doesn't happen the first billing cycle. It's usually the second one. But all of a sudden, you'll get a bill in the mail and you won't owe anything. I mean, it'll, it'll just be a credit on your account of $300. Mm-hmm. And that's per line. So wow. family of four switches over, $1,200 can go, can go a long way. And so how much would a regular monthly bill be? You know, it varies. It's all according to how much data you use. Uh, we have promotional plans right now that go for unlimited talking and unlimited texting and a gigabyte of data for $60. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, and, uh, you know, the, the, it's all according to what you use your phone for. We try to basically um, set it up for what you use it. There are some people that don't do very much on the phone as far as the Internet. The one gigabyte plan will be plenty. I use about a gig and a half a month because I'm on Wi-Fi whenever I'm at the house mm-hmm. or at the store. Right, but right, you right. also have some heavy users that do Netflix, uh, stream music all day long. They use more data. So we really try to find out what the person uses on a regular basis and set them up on the right plan from day one so they don't call me a month later and say, oh, my goodness, I'm over on my data. We mm-hmm. don't want that to happen. Well, no, Larry and I interview people literally all over the world. And if we would interview somebody from here in England and we had one of your phones, would it just be a, uh, a local call or would it be long distance charges or how would that work? Now, you mean if the person's calling in from England? Yeah, if we if we have to call them from here. Okay, if you have to call them from here, obviously, you know, it would be a long distance to England. But uh-huh. I, I tell people, and I don't know why everybody doesn't do this, say, for example, you're calling somebody from England and you want to do an interview, uh, Skype, mobile, or, you know, there's Tango. There's, there's several different kinds of uh, ways that you can communicate for free. Oh. Uh, like, for example, my brother is fixing to move back to Spain. Uh, I will be able to communicate with him, video chat with him through Skype mobile. Wow. Uh, on your phone? On my phone for free. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. He used to live in South Korea, and I would, I would communicate with him over there, uh, although there's a time difference. But other than that, as long as I'm in a, um, in a Wi-Fi area, mm-hmm. well, I, technically you can do it not in a Wi-Fi area, but I, I would encourage you to do it in, in a Wi-Fi area or at your office or home. And you can get on Skype mobile and talk to anybody in the world for free. As no long as data they ask charges. Skype. No, no data charges oh. because you're on the Wi-Fi network. Uh-huh. And if they have Skype as well, Skype to Skype is free. Wow. Yeah, it's free anyway. So you said something, and this is probably a dumb question, I guess, or, or a low-level question, but you, you mentioned that you get the bill in the mail. Uh, is it, I mean, I'm guessing some people prefer a paper bill in the mail, but I'm guessing you have it set up so that you don't have to get any bill, right? You could just do it on, you could pay on your phone for your phone. You, you can go paperless. Uh, you can have it. Uh, you can have auto pay set up. Oh, to where just every month at the third, fifth, tenth day of the month, whatever you want to set it up with, right. just, just automatically debit from your account. Uh, that is what you know. Several people do because they don't have to worry about. Oops, I forgot. Right, oh, right. Yeah. That's the way I would do it. Because yep. I pay. I just sometimes am a day late. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll take a little break and we'll be right back. Matt Wilkerson is here from Verizon Wireless. If you have any questions about the phones or any of the uh, promotional items that uh, Matt is talking about, you are welcome to call the number is six two two nine six two two. We'll be right back.
The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident for today's sunshine mixing with clouds. There'll be a couple of thunderstorms around this afternoon and evening, the high 89 to 93. And later tonight, partly cloudy, though 72 to 76. Tomorrow, sunshine mixing with clouds. Watch out for an afternoon thunderstorm or two, high 89 to 93. Friday, partly sunny with a shower or thunderstorm around in the afternoon, high 86 to 90. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Chip, what do you like best about summer? Mm, going to the beach, hanging around the pool, and let me guess, driving a new Ford. Right on all three counts in celebration of summer, Ford Lincoln of Ocala and Village Ford of Bellevue are inviting people in to take the Ford experience and witness firsthand all the style, innovation, and dependability that make up America's favorite brand at unbeatable prices. Not to mention 0% for 72 months, plus no payments until fall. Could it get any better? How about for taking the Ford experience, you'll receive a jumbo beach bag stuffed with summertime fun and with the purchase of a new let Ford, me guess you get to select from these cool summertime gifts in the showroom maybe the grill uh, no uh, the smoker get uh, the Ford an ice maker. Of Calor, village Ford of Bellevue today for their unbeatable summer sales event and take the Ford experience grab a beach bag full of fun start off at Ford of Ocala.com or my village I don't know the grill maybe the mini Not fridge. all buyers of vehicles qualify for zero for 72 months financing nor no payments until fall restrictions apply see dealer for complete details On this episode of What Not To Do, brought to you by Mike Scott Plumbing. If water runs through it, we do it. I thought I told you to call Mike Scott Plumbing to get this leak fixed. I did call the plumbers. They were just here. Let me get this straight. You're telling me Mike Scott Plumbing was just here? Uh, well, not exactly. Well, then who exactly was here? You know, the other plumbers. They were having a sale. Is that why there's duct tape on my toilet? Wait, I don't see any, uh, oh, that duct tape. Uh, well, at least it matches the grout color. There's a reason we only call Mike Scott Plumbing. They're on time every time. They don't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. And most importantly, and I need you to pay attention on this part, they actually fix it. Okay, so you want me to try to fix it? Yes, yes I do. By calling Mike Scott Plumbing, like you should have done in the first place. Yes, dear. What's the number again? You really should know this by heart. 866-314-4443. Got it. 866-314-4443. On next week's episode of What Not To Do. Seriously? A helicopter? Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. 18 minutes after 10 o'clock, Matt Wilkerson is here. Matt, said, you said something during the break. I want to I want to say something about. Uh, I used to work at an assisted living facility, mm-hmm. and they're not cheap. The, the folks who live there pay a high dollar amount. Now, this was I'm going back 14 years ago, and it was three thousand dollars a month. I have no idea what it costs now, but that three thousand dollars a month paid for the for the rent. It paid for the electricity. It paid for uh, I don't think it paid for cable, no. but but it pretty it much for paid food. for everything. But it did not pay for phones. Yeah, correct. And I remember that the phone was just like breaking the camel's back or whatever whatever the expression is, the last straw. And a lot of the residents did not have phones because of that extra expense. And so we had a community phone in the, like the, they had a big living room in this facility. So there was a phone in there and that's, yeah. and they would often sit there, there'd be a, la- so I, I always felt so bad. They have to come out to get calls like, oh, my son's going to call me from Michigan or whatever. Yeah. So, and, and of course they would get the phone call. That's how we did it. But you've got a better idea. You've got something really that would have been used very helpful back then. Well, I'll tell you, I am in and out of uh, just about all of the assisted living facilities in Marion County. We have a device that you can hook up in your room. Does it, it doesn't even require a phone jack in the wall. Uh, and it is home phone service, which includes all lo- local and long distance calling. And a lot of these people that are in the assisted living, they have relatives, you know, all over America. And they want to just simply be able to stay in touch with them. But just like you said, the assisted living facility takes darn near their whole check. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, it's I huge. can't afford a home phone. Right, right. Well, we have a home phone device that can go in the assisted living facilities, anywhere for that matter, uh, for $20 a month. $20. It, $20 a month, and it's unlimited local and long distance. 
uh, anywhere in the 50 states, including Alaska and Hawaii. And uh, a lot of people are switching over to it because, you know, it gives them the freedom, you know, and if you go on vacation, they can actually take that device with them. Say say you're going to visit your family in the Carolinas for Christmas. Well, right, you, right. You, you can take this little small device, it's about three inches long, and you can plug it in uh, up in North Carolina. And when I call your home phone, in, it, it'll ring in North Carolina. What really? do you plug it into? Wow. So, well, the device itself provides the phone service. It's off the Verizon network, which is nationwide. You don't need a phone jack in the wall. You don't have to call the phone company to spend $75 trip charge to have them come drop a line in the wall. So it simply plugs into the wall. To an electric a, outlet. To an uh, outlet. And it has wow. a, a five-hour battery backup. And it's $20 a month for unlimited use. That is amazing. Yeah. Can I ask about the handset? Is the handset an old-fashioned handset? Because, you know, I hope I'm not insulting anybody, but a lot of times the older folks, they don't really like the, the, the cell phones. Okay. Now, as far as the handset, we, we, we can provide a handset that is an additional charge, a one-time charge okay. to purchase the handset. But most people have a home phone at the house, or they have one available to them. For example, in the assisted living facilities, they have one. They just don't hook it up because they can't ah, afford it. Okay. So it's just a regular cordless phone or a wired phone that you would buy at a Walmart or Best Buy. Mm-hmm. And you simply plug it into the back of this device. I see. Oh, wow. And it, it's a home phone. That is great. That is I really. I love that. Spread it, the it, word. Of, if it, it has it, caller ID, voicemail, call forwarding, everything. Oh, wow. If you take anything else out of this conversation, help somebody who could really use a phone find out about this. I mean, you can't do any better than that. And $20. if they have a home phone right now and they are, say, moving into an assisted living facility, they can keep their current phone number. Oh, they, they, can. they can put it on the Verizon device. Uh-huh. They can keep their home phone number. Oh, how great is that? That is absolutely yep. wonderful. And communication is the uh-huh. most important thing for people because everybody's so spread out now. Yeah. Not very many people live in the same area where they can see each other. So that would be wonderful. Very nice. Is it um, just a phone, or do they get text messages on it? Just, just a phone. Just a phone. Okay. Just a phone. But like I say, it does include the long distance, um, which a lot of people have relatives all over the place. That is really good. Yep. Very nice. Very handy device. So, so the hand. Just to clarify on the handset. So that part does not come with it, or it the, does? The, the handset does not come with it. Most people have home phones at the house. Okay, I like just the one understand. on the wall. So yeah. yeah. Right. Like right. Okay. Yeah, but instead one. of plugging it into the phone jack in the wall, they plug it into the back of my device and they can go anywhere Mm -hmm. as a matter of fact rv owners Uh and over the road truck drivers oh this is excellent for them you can go anywhere in the 50 states have this plugged into your in your mobile home uh, in in your motor home Mm -hmm. and you're rolling down the interstate with a home phone in the back of your motor home that is pretty awesome you don't need a phone jack and you and, cool. and you won't need a uh, uh, regular cell phone no. to pay but whatever it, monthly pay. But it has a five hour is. battery, so you wouldn't even need to plug it in for five hours. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, over the road truck drivers, you know, they obviously live in their vehicles. Motorhome right, people say, right. but all these vehicles have one ten outlets. outlets. Yeah. yeah. But uh, it just it's handy, and you can take it from the house to the truck to the to the boat, whatever you wanted to take it on, mm-hmm. and it's handy. That and it's is cheap. amazing. Twenty dollars. Yeah, I'll say. So, nice. Yeah. You should get your home phone switched over to that. Yeah, but there's no internet access, he said. Oh, I see. Okay. And that's that. why you asked that question. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, we, yeah. now, we we have internet access. <laughs> now, now, that's not included in the 20. Yeah. But uh, right. yeah, that, that is just the home phone. All right. Uh, anything new for the uh, for on the other extreme? Like, that, like that's the basic right there. Any, anything new on the... I guess on the app side or things uh, like that. Well, I mean, of course, they are they are developing apps on a on a weekly basis. Uh, we are waiting. We are anticipating some launches coming up. We don't have the exact dates for the latest iPhone, uh, the 6s and the 6 oh. plus s. Oh, there's uh, two coming out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, there are two out now. They are, you know, larger. There's the 4.7 inch huh. and the five and a half inch. But then they also have. We're anticipating the launch of the new Samsung Note Five. I uh, do not have the exact date yet, but stay tuned. It's it's oh, well, coming. That's the tablet? No, no, no. No, that, that's not the tablet. Okay. The uh, Note oh. 5, well, of course, the uh, phones today are almost the size of a tablet. Mm-hmm. But uh, no, those are the uh, latest phones that we are waiting to launch. Speaking of the tablets yeah. you mentioned about, uh, we have several promotions going on that where you have up to $100 uh, rebates back on all the tablets right now. Uh, tablets are a hot thing. 
Um, very convenient, very compact. Um, ladies can put it in their purses. Right. I mean, it, it's right, it's right. very convenient, and you can do a lot of things. You can even print from tablets, um, just like you can your smartphone. So uh, $100 rebates, up to $100 rebates on certain models of tablets. Uh, you can call my store for details. But uh, a lot of incentives going on right now. That $100, the $300 to switch. A lot of good things going on. Gosh. Well, if you uh, want to call Matt to find out about this, uh, what what number do they call? Well, they can call the store at 352-528-0020. Or if they want to reach me on my cell phone, I'll be glad to help anybody. 352 817 Seven nine five eight, and do keep in mind we deliver anywhere in Marion County, and we ship nationwide. And you will actually sit with the person and show them how to use that phone before they take it home. Absolutely. Anytime I'm in one of these assisted living facilities as well, I spend I spend plenty of time with the individuals uh, and let them know that you know I want to walk out of there knowing that they're comfortable using their home phone. Hmm. Yep. There, there are a couple times I'll need to enter like a number, like I'll call my bank and I have to enter my credit card number or something like that. And then I have to hit the dial pad, oh, the dial pad. Pound. What is it? Pound. Yeah, pound. You know, sometimes you'll pound. enter a phone number and you have to enter pound oh, okay. afterwards. Okay. Mm-hmm. But sometimes the screen goes away for me. That, I mean, yeah, it might just be my phone. Well, that, that's just a setting on your phone where you can adjust your screen timeout. Oh, from, oh. From 15 oh. seconds to 30 to a minute to... But that's the kind of thing. Even, I mean, I've had that phone, this phone for a long time I'm now. I'm telling you, once you get up to speed and you get to smartphone, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to teach you. Don't worry. <laughs> And are QR codes still popular or are they going away? No, they're popular. I mean, they're not the, you know, they're not the, you know, the latest, greatest where everybody just goes crazy over them. But there are several people. People have them on the back of their business cards. Uh, certain people do. Yeah. Uh, oh. they, they, they have them in different places where you can scan it and you can get information. It'll be a link to a website. Yeah, I saw uh, one on a McDonald's cup yeah. and, it, and it said nutritional information. Yep. yep. And I was thinking, wow, if I, if I was sleeping for the last 10 years, I would look at that and go, how is that nutritional information? Yeah, That's true. Right. That's true. <laughs> yeah, you scan I, it and you I, can get everything on your phone. I think I kind of have been sleeping. Can can you get can, can a person get an app on their phone that when they go to the grocery store and they're looking at different things and if they like scan the item on the shelf will it be able to tell them that that item is cheaper at a different store? The, the, there are apps available like that. I'll have to do some research on that. Uh, matter of fact, I used one of those. It seemed like it was about a year and a half ago I tried it. Uh, also, Walmart has that. They have a savings catcher to where you can uh, scan your receipt. Uh, and it will tell you if that item is cheaper somewhere else, and if so, they will give you credit oh on my. the uh, amount that it was, <laughs> was cheaper somewhere else. Oh yeah, wow. they're, they're, I'm telling you, if you thought about it, uh-huh. somebody else has too. Somebody else has, and there's yeah. an app for it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, do you ever make, I, I know you said you make house calls, but do you ever come to the uh, Verizon stores here in town as opposed to yours in Williston? No, the, uh, the each individual store, besides the corporate store on State Road 200, every store is privately owned. Mm-hmm. Uh, we all do our own business. Uh, I mean, I, I have relationships with some of the guys here in town, and, and they're wonderful people. Uh, but uh, typically, it is, uh, you know, uh, they would be considered my, my, a little bit of my competition. Sure. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that's why I tried to go the extra step uh, and do things that other stores don't like deliver. Uh, you do not hear of cell phone stores delivering right. to people's homes. Uh, that's where I come in. Uh, people that can't get out but need service, especially the elderly with the home phones, right, I right, can right. bring it right to your front door set it up and have you operated and, and working before i leave wow and so. you can go to businesses too in case the uh, uh business wants to set up all their employees on a particular plan absolutely i am driving next week to leesburg to sell 11 phones to an individual who owns a car dealership down oh there. oh my yes sir if, that is uh, wonderful if you want to go through me uh i take every customer um serious and i appreciate yeah. everyone i will deliver to you so you can get two phones on one plan you can get you can get up to ten on one plan. Yeah, and, and then you can do sub accounts and get into more details. But you you can have several plans that you can have much more than ten business accounts. Really? Oh, yeah, you can have a hundred lines on an account. Really? Wow. Yes. So something like sixty dollars a month, you could have two or three or four phones or something. Well, you could have that, but whenever you get set up on a um, a, a share plan, there the, there are different rates, different ways to structure it. Where actually, if you have more phones on your line, it actually gets cheaper per line. 
Wow. Yep. That is amazing, Matt. Yep. Uh, thank you, Matt. Let's give you phone Gosh. number one more time. How do we yep. get you? It's 352-528-0020 at the store. Call us. We'll be glad to help you anytime. Share this information with somebody, uh, not just the incentives of like the $300, which is really good, but also the $20 home phone. Home phone. Yes. Mm-hmm. Somebody out there will benefit from that. I know it. Yes. Uh, thank you, Matt. You got it. We'll be right back. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. President Obama stepping up his push for the Iran nuclear deal today, speaking at American University on the upcoming vote in Congress. The Minnesota Democrats.